Hi everybody, we're here at Connie's Kitchen again for another episode, but today we're doing a remote. We are at the Oxford United Methodist Church here in downtown Oxford on East Burdick. And I, along with my team, are preparing dinner for the free meal program. We serve the second Wednesday of every month, and when there's a fifth Wednesday like this month, we do that too. And we have a lot of fun doing it. And I'm gonna get some chopping started while we talk. Um, some people, I've mentioned free meals on the show, and some people have been asking me what it's all about. Um, back in, I think, 2009, when pretty much when the economy tanked, some of the area churches got together with a group called Love, Inc., and they started this program so different churches would prepare meals on different nights. And we now have, well, we have two teams out of this church, and we have a team, uh, Christ the King, and then King of Kings also uses our kitchen for their service, and Emmanuel Congregational on Hubby right here in town, they serve one night also. And I wish I could tell you how many people we serve. Some weeks, some weeks it's 25 or 30, some weeks it's 60 or 70. So uh, figuring out our quantities can be a bit of a logistical nightmare because especially for our team, we like to make sure everybody gets a good dinner and seconds and a carry out. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but nobody goes away hungry. We won't let that happen. So tonight, we're doing like kind of a family special. When I was a kid growing up, Halloween, of course, was huge. And those were the days when you could go out all night. So from the minute it even started to look dark, we were gone. Mom wanted something quick, so she'd make us sloppy joes. Well, last year we happened to be serving a couple days before Halloween also. And so we did sloppy joes, kind of an homage to my childhood. And it was very well received, so we thought we'd do that again this year. So we're going to have sloppy joes, french fries, salad, and dessert. And right now, I'm getting some of the peppers ready to start throwing them in. The, this is Beth over here, and this is Jenny. And they're browning our meat, and then we're going to start assembling the sloppy joe itself. And things, we scramble a little bit. Um, we'll serve at 5.30, which I don't know what time it is now, but... We'll be ready. We're always ready. But some stuff just kind of has to wait till the last minute. Um, another one of our team members is downstairs setting up the dining room. That's Liam Hamilton, my nephew, who is all of 11 years old and runs that dining room like a pro. He's just, I'll tell you, the weeks that Liam can't make it, we're all kind of lost up here because then we have to go downstairs and figure out what he did because he does it so well. As far as volunteers, we can always use more. I don't know how about the other teams. But um, I have some people coming in tonight to help with service, and they just come on the fifth Wednesday. So it gives my kitchen team a break, because lately we've been having to go downstairs and serve also, which is fine, but we like to be up here getting the cleanup done too. So we have a good time. We always have something fun going on. Sorry I'm looking down here, but I'm trying not to chop my fingers off. There we go. So that's what free meals is. It's, it's for members of the community, either members that are have, people are having a tough time maybe, or people that just want to come out and have a nice evening, be social. We have a lot of folks that come just to meet up with friends. Um, I've had several people say, well, I feel uncomfortable because, you know, I can afford to pay for dinner. And uh, I say, well, that's fine. If you want to leave us a tip, feel free. Because I don't know how all the other teams work, but we don't accept money from the church at all. We regenerate all our own funds for our groceries and such. So every once in a while we get a little extra. That's nice too. And we're very appreciative of it. It was funny, the other night up at the lodge we had a beautiful birthday party. Actually for Beth, it was a surprise party. And uh, that went really well on Sunday. And on Thursday we had a group called Remnant Ministries from Lake Orion was up for a dinner party. And my husband was parking cars because it got late and it got dark. Thought it'd be easier than people wandering around out in the dark looking for their cars. And uh, a couple people thought he was like a professional valet and tipped him. So that money went into the free meal jar too. <laughs> it was kind of a nice surprise. But uh, busy at the lodge these days. Our wine dinner's coming up on November 9th. There's still a few seats available. For that one, we are all about apples having a pork apple stew, which I think we filmed in episode two, and we're going to have that for dinner. 
and that's part of a seven course dinner. And then on December 28th, we're going to do chocolate and peppermint in kind of in honor of the holiday season. And uh, it's going to be a inter- bit of a challenge. I've got some ideas already, but I'm really looking forward to it. Now remember the wine dinners, seven course dinner, plus appetizers, wine for every course served by Dean Rondi, who is a certified sommelier and owns Oxford Wine and Beverage here in town. All that for only $50 a person. Nowhere else will you go and get that kind of a meal for that kind of a price in such a beautiful setting because the lodge is gorgeous. And we're getting ready for winter. Fireplace is fixed. I had it burning the other night for the first time and we're ready. We've got some seminars coming up. We have baby showers. I had a lady call me last night about a wedding. She wants to get married in front of the fireplace. I think that'll be very exciting. And someone else is looking to book Christmas, and we're already booked for New Year's. So it's kind of getting to be a busy place, so don't be the last one. Give me a call one of these days and let us do an event for you. So what we're going to do now, I'll get back to the actual food now that I've been chatting enough. I'm going to do some more chopping. When we get back, we're going to start actually assembling the Sloppy Joes because I think the girls have a good amount of beef, or beef ready to go. So I'll finish this up and catch you back here in a little bit. Hopefully still have all my fingers. Hi, this is Connie again from Connie's Kitchen coming to you from Treetop Lodge the place where magic happens and unicorns roam freely. Of course, you have to come to the lodge to understand about the unicorn thing, but they're everywhere. We'll be doing a wide variety of cooking shows here on Oxford Community Television. And I personally would like to thank the crew for coming out and giving me this opportunity to share my passion and what I love to do with you from Connie's Kitchen. So please join us on Oct TV, join us at the lodge, and look for us all over the town. And if you see unicorns, they probably came from here. See you soon. we're back I got my peppers done and I'm starting on my onions and I'd like to take a minute to not only just point out who's here but let let them come in and talk Liam come here a minute okay tell me tell the nice people why you're here I'm here because my brother started and I just thought it'd be really fun and it's helping people and I like it and what do you do for us when you're here I basically manage the whole downstairs like, we couldn't do it without you. It was funny, Liam's mom comes occasionally and helps us out. A couple of weeks ago, she said it was really weird taking orders from her son. And I said, well, when he's here, he's not your son. He's my downstairs manager is what he is. So I'm, I'm glad you're here. You've been a real valuable addition, especially since we lost your brother, which by the way, today is Gage's, Liam's big brother, Gage's 16th birthday. Happy birthday, Gage, we miss you. He's attending Wentworth Military Academy in Missouri and doing wonderfully. So you need to run those downstairs and I'm going to keep cooking. And we'll go over here and talk to the girls that are actually doing some cooking because obviously today I'm doing a lot of chopping. This is Beth Rossman. Hi. And same question, why are you here? I'm here because I know it's hard for people at times like this. People have lost, lost their jobs and they need something to eat. So we make the food and they can enjoy it. And do you enjoy it? Oh, I enjoy it. I really enjoy doing this and it's fun to come in here and cook. Yeah. And then you know that people are going to, they enjoy it, really enjoy it. Even if they don't really like it, they enjoy it because we tell them to. <laughs> and Beth's husband, Kim, is normally here with us. He's out of town on business. Kim is our mad cereal uh, salad guy. You give him the task of doing salad and he'll be, build salads for weeks. <laughs> But he does, again, he does a great job, and we miss him when he's not here. And then over here, also cooking, we have Jenny Braun. 
In Jenny's real life, she's actually a nurse, and that's how we first met. Jenny is, was the nurse for a friend of mine. And I don't know, a few months ago, I guess, I was telling her about free meals and said, hey, you want to give us a hand? And she's been here ever since. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask you the same question. Why are you here? So here. Um, I am here because I enjoy being with Connie and the team, and I enjoy um, cooking and also um, being able to be a part of something that helps somebody else is that's what I enjoy. So. Well, I'm, I'm glad. We enjoy having you here. And Jenny is the one who recommended um, her son's friend to me as my new waitress out at the lodge. So when you come out, you'll meet her. Her name is Shelby. And she did a wonderful job at the dinner on Sunday. We were really, really thrilled. I was nervous going in, and so was she, but then yeah. she calmed right down. Mm -hmm. So, all right, keep browning, girls. I'll have more ingredients for you soon. Now, sloppy joes are real, real simple. And I think that's what makes them so good. So, I'm going to get busy with the onions and the peppers. Then we're going to build a salad, which I have to do because Kim's not here. And then we'll just hope that our serving team shows up. And they'll take over in the basement. Liam has everything set up down there already. And uh, they'll get the rest of what needs to be done down there ready. And by 5.30, we will be ready to open the doors and welcome our guests. And that's the best part. We'll gather and we'll, we'll have a prayer, which I think will be me tonight because, again, Kim is in California. <laughs> but, um, but that's okay, too. So, Sloppy Joe's, we've got our meat browning, and we're seasoning the meat as we go. We're going to add chopped peppers, chopped onions, and then super secret ingredients. I don't buy manwich. Ketchup and mustard. Sometimes I throw barbecue sauce in, but when I'm cooking for a group like this, and it's not necessarily people I know well, I kind of want to watch my levels on things and not get, not get too fancy. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had to have um, some oral work done. And the doctor wanted to do it on the day of free meals, and I said no. Well, my team took over. I had my surgery, everything went fine. And they came in here and they cooked and they prepped and they served. And I, from what I hear, they were a big success. These people are very special to me. They're good friends. They know how important this is to me. And so they're always here for me and it's kind of humbling. But you heard it yourself. They also have a good time doing it. So, which I think is pretty much always the case. My husband even stepped in a couple weeks ago, and that's something normally he doesn't have the time for, and that night he actually had to finish and then go right off to a meeting, but that didn't stop him. He was right there for me so that I wouldn't worry, and so all my people would be fed. And now these onions are starting to get to me. Part of this is emotion. Part of it is the onions. <laughs> oh, I heard from some people that watched the appetizer show that we did, and uh, Good, good feedback. And I had someone else um, on the Chopped show when we had the weird rosemary date crackers. Somebody, <laughs> they were weird, but they tasted good. And um, somebody asked, actually sent me a message and asked me where I got them. And that was Meyer. I mean, in Oxford, that's pretty much where you shop. So we've been getting a lot of good response, a lot of good questions from people interested in what we're doing. Our numbers are pretty good on YouTube. I'm finally on YouTube for something good. <laughs> so this has been a lot of fun. And pretty soon we're going to start breaking out some holiday stuff, which even though this is for Halloween, it's not really what you'd consider holiday. But I think what I'll do probably on the show is do some experimenting with some recipes for our oh, December 28th show with the chocolate and peppermint. And that'll be a lot of fun. And, but I've had people say they've tried some of the recipes and they, they enjoyed it. They said they were easy, simple to follow. Um, there was one show where I neglected to identify an ingredient. It was garlic. Somebody did send me a message and ask me what that was, because all I said was, we'll throw some of this in. So if I do that, call me on it. Let me know. Hit me up on Facebook or whatever. I'm always around. So I'm going to finish up with these onions, take a little break here to start assembling things. And that's what we're going to do. And then we'll, have, we'll move on to salad, which is always terribly exciting. But goodness gracious, this is uh, some serious onion we got going here. <laughs> yeah, Connie's crying in the kitchen, so what else is new? But this is Connie's kitchen. 
and tonight from Oxford United Methodist Church. And we'll be back shortly, and I'll try to dry up a little bit here. And we're back. And now we're going to do the final assembly to get everything ready here at Connie's Kitchen United Methodist Church Kitchen. Because remember I said on the first show, just any kitchen I'm in, I claim for my own. So now I have my pan of browned meat and the peppers. Normally I would have sauteed the peppers, but it's kind of a time crunch. So really I've got the more as a way to add color Look, it doesn't that look like just to scream fall to you? I think we need a little bit more onion. Remember, exact measure on these things is always, always important. Got to have the exact measure. Right, girls? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will demonstrate what I mean by exact measure now. This is my mother's method for making sloppy joes. And Works for me. As a matter of fact, again, now this is where this is where exact measure is really important. Okay, I have approximately 14 glops of ketchup in there now. So, I'm just going to lightly mix that. Then we're going to add the other secret ingredient, which is mustard. You can do this with barbecue sauce, you can do it with man, which I suppose. But something about this particular combination takes me back more years than I care to admit to. And as I said last year when we did this for our guests, they all said the same thing. They felt like kids again. So we're just gonna give that a good mix. Now just before I send this downstairs, I will add a little bit more of the sauce, because right now it might look a little dry. But Give it a chance to sit in there a little bit. While that sits, we've got some we've got some French fries. Nope, that's me. French fries are over here. Sorry, guys. And these pans will be filled with nice crinkle-cut crispy fries. And yes, we've been in the kitchen all afternoon cutting potatoes. That's what we do. Now I'm going to finish. I started a salad here, and Beth's down there working on the other one. And so we're going to finish that up. We always send the salads down undressed so that the guests can choose what they'd like. No, and by the way, this is all washed. I washed the lettuce. Not just, not just using it. And this is when... There we go. Got some red onion. Always have red onion. Love the red onion. And these are very similar to cherry tomatoes, but they're golden and they're sweet. And I like them. So I buy them whenever I can. Produce in Michigan, we're getting into that time of year when you get lucky, but these were still available the rest of my lettuce in there and then we will have approximately I think we prepared enough food tonight for about 45 to 50 people the numbers as I said the last few weeks especially 
Jenny, could you answer that, please? Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, guys. Come on in. Some more of our volunteers here. They're here to... Um, they'll be working downstairs tonight, right? Yes, Liam has got the downstairs ready for you. So see Liam. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're here. And there's our salad. Very simple. Nice and fresh. We use as much fresh ingredients as we can. Using ketchup and mustard might seem like a cop-out on the meat, but it's just, a, it's just a nostalgia thing for me. We try to use a lot of fresh produce and fresh fruit and fresh meat, obviously. So we want to give our guests good, healthy meals. I experiment here much like I do at the lodge. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> we haven't had any issues. But I'm going to get the rest of the sauce going now. And then to thin it out just a little bit more. Jenny, are you available? Could you come here and do me a favor? Fill that about a quarter ways with water and put your hand over the top and shake it. There we go. So just about the time we're ready to send this down, our guests will have arrived. The folks that just came in, they'll be serving for us tonight. So they're going downstairs to put the finishing touches on what's going on down there. Now we won't be going downstairs because I didn't have a chance to ask every one of our guests how they felt about being on the show. So we're just going to let them enjoy their dinner in peace tonight. I just kind of wanted you to see the process up here. Now, so the, tonight there's the three of us, plus Liam preparing. Sometimes we have seven or eight. We try to, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hello. We try to kind of gear our meal towards how many people are going to be here to help cook. Sometimes if I'm doing a crock pot dinner, I will start things a day ahead. It's just a lot easier. And uh, well, whatever we do, we try to make it, like I said, tasty delicious, healthy, fun, and we try to have a good time up here doing it. So the rest of the crew is downstairs. <laughs> kind of a busy place here tonight. So there we go. Now this is going to sit, and as it sits, it's going to get even sloppier. And I'm going to just make the kitchen even sloppier. <laughs> but this will be like, like I said, a little warm memory for people back in the day before McDonald's. Well, when McDonald's was around, they just weren't around very much. I'm not going to put myself back that far. <laughs> so, <laughs> watch it, Con. So, dinner tonight, sloppy joes, french fries, salad, and then I picked up some beautifully decorated mini cupcakes. Now, normally we get our desserts with sweet and savory, and they are so kind and generous. And This happens to be an extra week, so we didn't get our dessert from them tonight. There's another business here in town, Italia Gardens. They are also very generous. And Panera Bread. Panera sends their bread to us every week so that we're able to package it up and send it home with our guests. So if you have any questions about the lodge or meals, call me, 248-933-4579. Facebook, Treetop Lodge Oxford, or stormy3958 at ett.net. And we'll be back to the lodge next time you see us, I think, unless we end up in someone else's kitchen. But it's been a lot of fun here tonight, and we're getting ready to serve. So I'm going to clean up my mess and get ready to send things downstairs. So join us. I, I look for you on Facebook. I've been really enjoying your messages, and I'll try to get back and answer them as soon as I can, and your emails. Um, I like hearing from everybody. I like your ideas. I have received a couple of chopped challenges, so we'll see about putting one of those together. So that's pretty much it. That's the process here at Connie's Kitchen South. <laughs> so until next time, have fun, get in touch, and uh, thanks for being here. See ya. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the village of Leonard. There is a place, a place where the air is pure and water runs sparkling clean. There is a place where a small, quaint village stands, surrounded by vast meadows and rolling hills. 
That place is the jewel of Oakland County. It's called Oxford, Michigan. If your dream or vision is for a safe, secure, and better life for you and your family, this is your invitation to come see for yourself the wonderful experience that could be yours. It's true that many lakes, nature trails, fishing, and over 500 acres of parks attract lots of people to Oxford. But there's much, much more. Quaint little shops, small pubs, and many unique fine restaurants. Near the center of town is a white church with a steeple and a park where a live band can be heard playing from the gazebo on hot summer nights. You are easily transported into a more relaxed and unhurried time. Although the village of Oxford reminds you of years past, the warmth and pride of its hardworking residents truly sets it apart from other communities. Oxford School Board has worked with parents to provide their children with the finest education possible. The result, a modern global school system with the first world-renowned international high school program. The fifth core world language and culture program and 11 premier sister schools expanding the globe from China to Mexico. Oxford residents are safe and secure in knowing they have one of the most modern police and EMT forces in Oakland County. If your vision is to start or expand a new business venture in a fiscally responsible environment, Oxford, Michigan welcomes you with open arms. We are one of the few Oakland County communities to offer the unique one-stop program where Oxford officials make it easy for developers and builders to complete their projects from start to finish. The one-stop process cuts through financial and legal red tape, frustration that usually faces entrepreneurs as they try to get their project off the ground. If your dream is for a new business venture or a better life for you and your family, there is a place called Oxford, Michigan. Right, here we are in front of American Legion Post 108 in Oxford. Now every Friday between 12 and 8.30, they serve up some of the best fish in Michigan. Follow me inside, we're gonna take a look around the post. All right, here we are now on the hall side of the post where you can get tables for anywhere to six to 30 people. And before or after you're done eating, take a walk around and browse through the second largest military museum in the state of Michigan. All right, now we're over on the restaurant side of the post where most of the fun happens, as you can see behind me. They've got darts, pool tables, 50-50 raffles, and any kind of fish you can think of, bait, cod, walleye, combo plates, all right here at your beck and call. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the village of Leonard. 